Now, the main story of the week has, of course, been who will replace Dino Gareth Southgate as England manager. He called time on his eight years in charge on Tuesday and the front runners for the job looked to be Graham Potter, Eddie Howe and or Lee Carsley. Acting royalty Danny Dyer joined Andy Goldstein on Drive yesterday and gave his opinion on who should be next in line. I'd like to see Eddie in there, I think. I do fancy Eddie. I, do, I don't fancy Potter. I, I just think that, the, well, the big club thing ruined him. I mean, he got a shot and he, and he failed miserably. So uh, so maybe he wasn't ready for that leap up. So to, so to, to you know, the way he dealt with Chelsea and then to jump to England would be mental for me. Mm. I don't know much about the Carsley cat. So that is what Danny Dyer had to say on Drive yesterday. Um, <sighs> Graham Potter has... has been quite quiet since his departure from Chelsea. We've barely seen him, really, until more recent times. Um, and he was at... Um, what was he at? He was at... Uh, oh, gosh, some university thing, wasn't it? I can't think what it was off the top of my head. It's completely gone from me. But he has spoken about how he's ready to return to football management. And then, obviously, England job could be something on his radar. So who would you be thinking of? You've got the outer out of work Graham Potter so in that sense an easy contract to sort Eddie Howe who has himself many a time said he would love to be the England manager one day but he's at Newcastle and then you've got Lee Carsley the under 21 boss for England currently um, well he's timed it well Graham Potter isn't he piping up <laughs> now just, as, just after Gareth Southgate leaves so it looks as if he's been waiting for the job but having done the job myself for three years with Wales I've realised it's a totally different job to being a club manager. John Toshek mm-hmm. was the manager. Mm-hmm. Myself and Roy, Roy Evans were the assistants. And it's such a frustrating job because, you know, you have games every three months. And just to get it, what the job is as a, as a manager, and this is going to sound simple, your job as an international manager is to get the tactics right and pick the correct team, mm-hmm. which sounds easy mm-hmm. because you don't see the players for three months and the players who've done well for you in the game before, you want to pick them again. Mm-hmm. Say you've won. But some of them haven't played for their clubs for six weeks. Some of them have been injured. Yes. Yeah. And you, you have a team in your head. Three months later, you turn up, seven of them aren't there. Mm. So you, you can't practice. There's no game next week to put it right if you get it wrong. So picking the right team, I mean, you have to watch the players in training for four days and you have to make a judgment on experience that you've had in the past for example, Luke Shaw, is he fit or is he just telling me he's fit? Is yes. he all right? Yeah. You have to make that judgment call in four days. You can't, you know, some of them haven't played, especially when it's a smaller country with Wales. We didn't we didn't see them playing, for, some of them weren't playing at all and you had to just pick them. So it's a different job. You turn up, get the tactics right against the opposition, which is which comes with experience and that is the job that's... Has Graham Potter got that experience where he can just turn up without, you know, any other thought in his head apart from I've got to pick the, the correct team? We've seen it with Gareth Southgate. Mm-hmm. We all had an opinion on what the team should be. And he had to pick that. He's the man that's got to pick that team, knowing that there's no game tomorrow. So you look at Graham Potter, Eddie Howe. I'd I'd pick someone. The Say the argument with Gareth Southgate is he had a lovely, magnificent group of players and he couldn't get him to win. That's the argument, really. You've got that group of players. Can you get him to win? Mm-hmm. The, you know, the World Cup or the sure. Euros. Yeah. So you need someone who's done that. Can For get example, get over the line. Yes. Ancelotti has, prove, oh. has proven he can take the best players and get them to gel and win using the tools he's got because he's got big ammunition. Gareth Southgate's got big ammunition. Mm. So the manager for me should be someone who's proven that they can get group, a, a top class group of players together and get them to win. Uh, Eddie Howe's not done that yet, and Graham Potter's not done that yet. So I would be, I would start at Pep Guardiola and work my way down, Klopp, until until you get the best one available. Okay, so you're you'd be open in the sense of the job should be for the best candidate. It doesn't have to be an Englishman; could be a foreign manager if needs be. Yeah, and. It's a different job. If you manage at Crystal Palace, it's a different job to managing Man City. Man City, you've got all the tools. You look to your bench. You've got every tool you need to win a game of football. And you've got to play them tools, play the cards at the right time. Man United, 
teams like that, they have it every week. Mm. People sitting up in a low block against them every week. You've got to find your way around it with the tools you've got. Imagine Crystal Palace is getting like 40 points, so you can take a draw. You can take draws away from home. But when, you, when you're managing the top teams, you've got the best players and you've got to get find a way of beating the opposition. So I would start with Pep Guardiola, Klopp, Ancelotti and gradually work my way down to the best available man for the job. OK. Uh, well, we're going to speak to a former Brighton player a little bit later on and get uh, that particular player's thoughts on Graham Potter and whether or not he would make a good England manager. That's on a, that's coming up a little bit later on. By the way, I was talking about that uh, university thing. I couldn't think what it was. He was being honoured with a doctorate by Leeds Beckett University. So that's why uh, he was being spoken to by the media who, who had... Uh, had gone to that event. Uh Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.